Frequently, brainstorming sessions around technology result in a whiteboard diagram or sketch representing an IT environment. It is then a costly and time-consuming challenge to actually transform that diagram into live functioning infrastructure. Our solution removes the tedious middle step and allows you to provision infrastructure directly from the diagram. This allows you to go to, from whiteboard to live in a matter of minutes. Our tool uses computer vision techniques to read in a hand-drawn figure and then uses Terraform to actually provision those same components in Oracle Cloud infrastructure, also known as OCI. Let me show you this demo in action. Here we have a hand-drawn diagram of a virtual cloud network represented by the outermost rectangle, two subnets, one instance in each of the subnets, and here the two different shapes for the instances refer to the different VM shapes. So the Pentagon is a VM 2.8, and the square is a VM 2.4. We then have a load balancer that's designed to route traffic between those two instances. And finally, the circle is an autonomous database. Earlier, I took a quick picture of this diagram, cropped it, and renamed it to demo. We'll run the script with the cropped image as a parameter, and then specify the number of each type of resource we're looking to create. Here we want one network, two subnets, two instances, one load balancer, two load balancer connections, and one autonomous database. The tool will run through and rapidly test a few thousand image processing parameter combinations, removing noise, trying different image sizes, and applying thresholds. It does this until it finds a parameter set that results in the processed image that matches the number of resources that we just specified. Note how in the final thresholded image, all of the background noise and irregular lighting has been removed as compared to our raw image. The processed image is analyzed and individual shapes are extracted using the open source library OpenCV. We iterate through each shape and in the background, maintain a sort of hierarchy to associate the position of each figure with what it's actually representing in the network architecture. The tool then generates a JSON object that mirrors the drawn figure. We can see that we have our VCN, VCN0, with a CIDR block of 10.0.0.0.16, two subnets, subnet 0 and subnet 1, with CIDR blocks 10.0.0.0.24 and 10.0.1.0.24, and then two instances, similarly named instance 0 and instance 1. We then have our load balancer, which will distribute traffic between our two instances. Finally, we have our autonomous database named ADB0. In the background, the tool used this data structure to generate Terraform files that correspond to the different resources in the architecture. We can navigate to the Terraform file location, initialize our modules, and review what we'd create using Terraform plan. As you can see, we have 17 resources total, one VCN, two subnets, an autonomous database, etc. This all looks good, so we'll go ahead and execute Terraform Apply. If we then go and look at our OCI tenancy, we can see that both of our instances have already begun provisioning. If we go to Network, our VCN is provisioned and ready to go. VCN0 has two subnets as expected, with CIDR blocks aligning with the IP ranges generated by the script, 10.0.0.24 and 10.0.1.0.24. The tool is also configured to create an internet gateway, a security list, and a route table in order to allow for instantaneous internet accessibility. Let's go back over to the compute instances. As we expected, that same instance zero is in subnet zero in VCN zero. Its private IP is 10.0.0.2. This will be important in a minute. Additionally, instance zero was a square and its VM shape is version 2.4. If we go back, we'll see that the other instance is a 2.8 corresponding to the Pentagon. Also, instance one's private IP is 10.0.1.2. We can then go over to our autonomous database and see that our ATP database, ADB0, is also currently provisioning. If we skip forward a few seconds, the Terraform provisioning is complete and all of our resources have been successfully created. The tool automatically loaded our instances with init scripts that installed and set up a very simple Apache HTTP server. The server just displays the private IP of the instance in a web page. If we use our web browser to navigate to the public IP assigned to our load balancer, we can see that each of the servers we drew are live, updated, and displaying their private IPs. As we refresh, we can see that the private IPs change, indicating that the load balancer is successfully alternating between the two instances. Our autonomous database is also active and ready to receive data. We can also test our autonomous database by pulling our randomized admin password from our Terraform output. We'll open up SQL Developer, create a new connection, and enter our credentials. Our tool automatically generates a Cloud Wallet zip file as output, so we'll just select that and test our connection. Success, so we'll go ahead and connect. We'll run a quick select query on the default sales history sample data set and see our query ran successfully. It took a few seconds, but if we run it again, it takes just a fraction of a second thanks to the autonomous database's caching capabilities. 
In this demo, we employed computer vision and Terraform to provision our environment and turned our whiteboard diagram into a live connected environment in a matter of minutes. Oracle is pioneering this area of DevOps. No other cloud vendor in the world has this functionality. We're revolutionizing the way the world uses automation to provision IT resources, all while saving you time and money.